What's up guys, Laco here. So today I'm gonna tell you how I learned English. Also, this is the first video 100% in English in my channel. So this year I'm gonna have videos in English and in Portuguese in this channel, okay? Hey guys, Laco here. So I'm gonna tell you guys in this video how I learned English. A lot of my subscribers asked for that. And this is also the first video 100% in English in my channel. So this year I'm gonna have videos in English and videos in Portuguese, okay? And that's for a few reasons. One of them is so I can reach a, a bigger audience. The second one is a lot of subscribers have asked so they can tell um, how good or bad my English is. And as you guys can tell already, if you speak English, is, my English is far from being perfect, but it's, a, it's at a pretty good level right now, I think. So let's just start, right? So I believe the first contact I had with English was right after my fifth birthday, when my dad gave me a PlayStation 1 and all the games that we had at the time were in English, right? And my brother at the time, he's 13 years older than me. He was about 18 or 19. He knew a little bit of English. He could understand, you know, basic sentences. And every time we'd play the video game, I would ask him like, what do I have to do now? Because it was in English and I couldn't read it. And that was right after I started learning, uh, reading Portuguese, right? Five years old, six years old, right around that time. So he would ask me, here's a dictionary. So I'll go to the dictionary. And I did this every single, every single day we played together. So that was the first contact I had with English. And then in the first year um, after preschool, I started having English classes at school. I went to a good school and we had English classes since the first, since first grade. Um, I didn't learn much at school, to be honest. Didn't care about English, didn't, didn't want to learn. It was just one more class that I had at school. But I kept learning, you know, with video games and, and most of the songs my brother would listen to, they were in English. And so obviously I didn't understand what they were talking about in the song. So I had to look at the lyrics um, and then, you know, try and understand what was going on. So I kept doing that for a long time, not, not paying attention to learning English. I just wanted to understand what the song was about or what the video game wanted me to do in that phase. And when I got older and we got a computer and I started playing online games and with that a bunch of players were from English speaking countries or everyone spoke English and that's when I started having contact with Spanish as well. I also had Spanish classes at school. No one really liked it but I really liked Spanish and I actually learned a lot of Spanish at school and I didn't learn a lot of English at school for some reason and I don't know why. So I started playing these this video games and trying to speak to people speaking English in these video games and Spanish as well. And in my first year of high school, that's when I went to, well, my parents asked if I wanted to go to an, an actual English class, you know, at a school. So when I went to this school, um, they had a placement test at first to see which level you'd get. And I actually got in at the pre-advanced two, so I actually skipped three and a half or four years. So I only did about a year and a half of English at the school. I stopped it at the advanced two. I didn't do the master because that's when I joined the police and I had to move so I didn't have time to do any more English classes. So I learned a lot, you know, I had good professors. So I had very good teachers and that's when I actually wanted to learn. So I learned a big part of what I know now at, at this English school you know, this English class. So right after I joined the police at age 18, I pretty much stopped learning any English. Until uh, 2014, when the Soccer World Cup was gonna happen in Brazil, and they actually implemented English classes at the military academy, so we would be able to deal with uh, the tourists and everything. So at that time, I started kind of learning again a little bit, and <clears throat> During the World Cup, that's when I met my wife. And, and then after I met her, obviously we spoke English pretty much every day until now. We actually still speak English every day. But she also speaks Portuguese, so I don't have to speak English all the time because she, she was learning Portuguese when I met her. She already spoke very good Portuguese, but then she improved her Portuguese and I improved my English. So pretty much that's how I learned English. And then Spanish was the same way. 
Um, since it's closer to Portuguese, it's really easy. Not really easy, but it's easier to understand and to learn. And I met a friend from Venezuela in one of these online games. His name is Jesus. And he wanted to learn Portuguese and I was learning Spanish, so we traded. I taught him a little bit of Portuguese and he taught me a little bit of Spanish. And we played this game a lot. So I learned a lot of Spanish that way, talking with him. And then, same thing, after I met my wife, she also speaks Spanish. Her Spanish was better than her Portuguese. So I could practice my Spanish with her. So that's the way I learned, and now I'm learning Russian. It'll be my seventh month, I believe, of Russian. I'm at a basic level still. So that's it, guys. That's how I learn English and Spanish. And I'm gonna make another video of the way I'm learning Russian, because I, I feel like I'm better learning Russian than I was learning English and Spanish because now I have a clear path that I know what that I know what I have to do to learn it so I guess the, the thing is you need to learn how to learn if that makes sense when you learn how to learn it's easier to learn anything right so I hope you guys liked the video just a little bit about my experience and how I learned if you don't follow me on Instagram just go there, follow me, and stay tuned. I'm gonna have more videos in English here. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna put subtitles in Portuguese for all of them. And right now I'm gonna have to do them myself because my channel has no revenue, so I cannot pay uh, someone to put the subtitles. But maybe in the future, if the channel grows, I can pay someone and have more videos in English if someone does the subtitles, all right? Thanks for watching, that's it.